Something tells me we've found our special ore. <gasps> you have got to be kidding me. Uh, honey, are you okay? I'm more than okay. Do you know what this is? It's auricalcum. Do you have any idea how much this stuff is worth? Auricalcum. Well, well. I've read about it in books, but I've never seen it with my own eyes. Are you sure, laddie? Am I sure, he asks? You bet I am. I steal valuable stuff for a living, remember? This is it. The rarest metal in the world. I wish Mia was here to see this. So this is the ore we were looking for. I should have guessed. Imagine what a fortune you could make with a lump this big. Uh, sorry. Got a little carried away there. Don't worry, I get it. This here ore is strictly for sword making. Hmm. We're one step closer to making that sword, but we've still got a way to go. Let's hit the road. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. <sighs> the 
And they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Edwin's Lantern, eh? Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Edwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star so he could watch over Erdria for all eternity. That was one of Eleanor's favourite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. I mean, if the Lord of Shadows rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend, are you even listening, laddie? Oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again, if you'd like. Heard everything you needed to hear, did you? All right, then. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Heroics will get you killed. Fear not, father. I will take all necessary precautions. By the time I return, the mystery of the star will be solved and Galopolis will be saved. Thank you once again for all you did for my son. I... What in the name of the... Surely this cannot be! It's been a while, eh, Your Majesty? Years, in fact. I haven't seen you since the Colloquy of Kings and the disaster that followed. Lord Robert, please, you must listen. What we were told about the Luminary was false. He is not the spawn of the darkness after all. Alas, we were all deceived by King Carnelian. We allowed the world to be destroyed. We brought this disaster upon ourselves. Oh, come on, your majesty. We can hardly be blamed. This is Mordigan's doing. He's the one who possessed King Carnelian and caused all this chaos. This is down to him and no one else. Lord Robert. Now, listen. We need to talk about that star. If Erdwin's lantern falls much further, Galopolis is done for. What do you know about it? Sadly, very little. I have tasked my finest scholars with investigating its origins, but they have discovered nothing. Uh, there is one thing that may be of interest. My son Faris claims to have been able to make out runes on the surface of the barrier that surrounds the star. Runes, eh? This is the first I've heard of a barrier surrounding the lantern, let alone anything being written on it. Was your lad sure of this? <laughs> 